common theme in abusive relationships is isolation. Abusive partners isolate their victims by sabotaging their jobs or relationships, controlling or monitoring where they go and who they talk to, and keeping them in the dark about important things. Without support from the outside world, survivors might not have a place to run to or a way to take care of themselves afterwards. Most tragically, they might not even believe they can survive on their own or that they deserve any better. This is why programs like Hope Crisis Center are so important. Today, we're visiting Crete, Nebraska to chat with Andy and Maribel about what Hope Crisis Center can do to bridge that gap for survivors who may be fleeing with nothing more than the clothes on their backs. Let's hear more about individualized advocacy. My name is Andy. I've been the victim advocate at the Crete office for, it'll be two years in December. Domestic violence is such a like vicious cycle. Um, a lot of times our clients just feel really trapped and the reason they can't leave is because they don't have resources or support because a lot of times the abuser is isolating the victim and things like that. So they really need someone to come behind them um, and walk alongside them in the process and sometimes that means helping them pay rent for a new apartment and sometimes that just means talking because they're not ready to leave yet. But without our services, it's kind of, they don't really have anywhere else to turn to most of the time because the abusers usually made them burn a lot of their bridges. I mean, Hope Crisis Center is just phenomenal. We find solutions to problems that we've never even faced before. <laughs> I don't know, finding ways to get them out of situations that they didn't think they could get out of. Individualized advocacy is all about conquering barriers, whatever those barriers may be. For Maribel, our bilingual advocate, her role is making sure that language isn't a barrier for Spanish-speaking survivors who need our services. Um, las ocho de la mañana hasta las cinco de la tarde. Imagine not having anyone in this country or not being able to speak the language here mm -hmm. and being terrorized at home. It's just, it, I feel like my, my job is very important mm -hmm. to this community, especially the Korean community. I work with Spanish-speaking victims. Um, I help with um, immigration advocacy. I um, obviously translation, um, interpretation. I accompany them to court if need be um, to hand in protection orders. They can come to me for, for anything they, they need and I feel like they're very, they get very comfortable with me mm -hmm. when, when it comes to that. Um, and it's just many come in here, and especially the Latino community uh, comes in here, and then I explain to them what um, domestic violence is, and it's emotional, um, verbal, and financial. Mm -hmm. And most of them are in shock because, like, okay, yeah, that's been happening for a long time. And our culture, I mean, women are expected to put up with that kind of abuse because they're they're stuck. They decided to marry that person, so they have to put up with it. And when they come in here and we um, we offer our services, we offer a shoulder to cry on, um, and sometimes just to come in and talk, um, uh, to talk about what they're going through. Uh, I feel like it's a huge weight off their shoulders just to, to know that they have support outside of out of those doors, so. Whether it be a listening ear or a bus ticket, a package of toilet paper or a week of shelter, advocates are here to help however they can. If you'd like to help too, consider donating necessity items during Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Purple collection bins are located at all five of Hope Crisis Center's satellite office locations. So if a client is seeking shelter and fleeing, um, they're gonna have to go to a hotel mm -hmm. um, and Sometimes they don't have time to pack, sometimes they do because they've been planning this and other times they just leave. Things. And so, so um, obviously even just to stay in a hotel, like you need some of those items. Um, and then also if a client is moving to a new place, sometimes it's nice to give them toilet bowl cleaner or bleach or paper towels or even a set of towels because they are likely moving in with nothing because a lot of times the abuser doesn't let them bring anything or pack anything. So. We just try to have things on hand that will help their transition be easier. Leaving an abusive relationship is a process, not an event. And advocates are here to help every step of the way. If you need help, call us anytime at 1-877-388-4673. And if you'd like to help, 
visit our Facebook page to learn more about the Purple Bin Project, our October supply drive.